Hello, it is Wednesdays with Chasey Boo, and today I'm going to be making a video about Halloween and the spoopiness. Now, I did talk about Halloween and how it's my favorite holiday two weeks ago, and it's funny that like today is also Halloween like theme, even though Halloween, I think it's on Saturday. I don't have a Halloween costume this year, so this is what we're going to talk about. So because I'm lucky enough that my video is actually, there's some cars in the back, like stop talking. Talking? Oh, now there's a plane. Jesus. I don't have a costume, okay? Uh, for the last three years, I've been the same thing, and it was a costume that I like, whipped out. I stole a hospital gown from um, the hospital when I was in there for my bladder infection, like multiple times, and I cut it up, put blood on it, wearing like a nurse type thing, so I was like a doctor nurse killer with like bl <gasps> blood everywhere. Um, and that was my Halloween costume for like three years, right? So that this year, I'm like, I'm gonna do something different, but then I realized, like, oh my god, Halloween's in like four days and I don't have a costume, so maybe I'm just gonna have to deal with what I had before. Mm, I don't know what to do. So I'm asking you guys, easy costumes that I could do in like three days. Let's go, okay? Um, I wish that I could be like an emoji, you know, like just, cause that's like so corny, but also knife emoji, you know? But like not knife emoji because that's like trigger warning. And like Halloween is like spoopy, but like I don't want to be a knife, you know? But the theme of the party that I'm going to is 1950s, but like I don't want to spend a lot of money or put a lot of effort. <laughs> I'm kidding. I just don't know what to do. You know what? How about this? Look, I have Friday, I have Thursday, Thursday night and Friday off. And that's when I'll go like search and theming for my costume. So let's let's give out ideas to Chasey Poo. I don't mind buying something that's like pre-made and then like modifying it. I just don't know what to do. It doesn't also have to be like 1950s theme. Okay, so now that I'm like getting you all to do the work for me about like picking a Halloween costume for me, ah, uh, um, I can tell you about something that I saw my time hop today, which was like, oh my god. Also, look at my shirt. It's amazing. Somebody made it. Somebody, somebody, a friend from Utah, but they're from Colorado and they drove seven and a half hours to go to Utah to come see my talk, made me this shirt, and it's amazing because it's like, bless, bless. I never want to take it off. Also, it's really soft because it's H&M. All right, so on my time hop today, I will actually show you because I never take out my phone, so I might as well. Um, I open it up and I see some pictures from like a Halloween uh, party that I went to um, three years ago. And then, I see, so this was my costume, hold on. I'll just make sure that it's just me so that like no one else is in there, but, or like, I'm just, Jesus, where am I? Okay, there you go. This was my, I'm just like talking to myself, you're not even beside me. So this is the Halloween costume here. So, yeah, so I've been that for like three years now. And then I go down and I see all my friends' costumes and like great, cute, we all gay looking. It was fantastic. And then, at 11.22 p.m., I think we were in line to go to Unity, the club. It's, I, it's, I said, just realized this is my last Halloween with boobs. Oh my God, I'm crying, I'm so happy. I, I remember, I remember like realizing it, like put it like on my costume, we're having fun and I'm like, oh my God, this is the last Halloween. This is the last, like, I'm having surgery in like eight months. This is the last Halloween with titties, like it was, such an amazing like discovery for me and I like I feel like things changed after that like before you have surgery you're just like okay whatever you know you're gonna wear a binder you like have to base what well, you're gonna wear based on your binder you can't wear like a black binder if you want to wear a white shirt and stuff like that um, but then when surgery comes close and you're like holy shit this is the last time this is the last summer without a binder uh, with a binder whoops this is the last summer with a binder this is the last summer with well, how, this is the fuck, Jesus. This is the last Halloween. This is the last Christmas. Like it starts to help you even more with the countdown, and it's like, holy shit! Next Christmas, I won't have titties. I can like sit down at the Christmas tree with my family with no shirt on. Like it's just such an amazing thing. And I know that this is about Halloween, but it's like Halloween's no boob type of like video for me right now. Anyways, that's all I want to say. Please help me with my Halloween costume. If you have any like experience of like, oh my god, I just realized that like this is my last ah, uh, but with a with with a binder, I'm all over the place. My camera has like one fucking minute of battery left, and I'm like all over the place. But yes, if you have any questions, let's talk about it. Please give me. Please help me with my Halloween costume. Please. All right, have a great week. Bye.